Halloween is around the corner and you want to buy some fake blood, but is it good enough? Let's find out. Hello, Small Terms Big Fans. Today we have a comparison video where we look at fake Halloween blood versus ketchup versus real human being blood, and probably my blood. So let's see which one looks actually much more real than the other and which people probably will want to use during the next uh, Halloween. I got some fake blood here. I got the capsule version. So let's open it up. The ingredients are um, sugar, baking powder, some gelatin, some other powder stuff, and sodium laureth sulfide. So let's say it's edible. It's safe to put, put in your mouth. Yeah, let's just uh, open it up and... Okay, yeah, it's like baking soda. I'm mixing it with my spit. Let me spit it out, like uh, some toothpaste. Wow, I'm quite surprised. Look how it looks like. So it looks super red. It has also little bubbles in it. Yeah, so let's uh, drip a little bit of the fake blood up here. Okay, let's grab some ketchup here. Put some of this one on the slide. That's a big blob of ketchup. We don't need so much. We put the rest on this side. And now for the real blood. Okay, for uh, stupid Halloween science. Let's do that. I poked it. Look, I am sweating. You can see the... <laughs> I'm sweating bullets. You can see the sweat forming on my fingertip. I'm, I'm nervous, I think. <laughs> and we just... Put that on top there. If this got you interested in learning STEM topics to make improvements in your life, then I recommend you check out Brilliant to improve your problem solving and critical thinking skills. Their lessons are interactive so that you are applying what you've learned and understanding the why of it instead of just memorizing formulas to get by. To supercharge your learning, go to brilliant.org slash smallturnsbig and the first 200 signups get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Okay, so now we're ready to test our experiment. So let's start with the ketchup because it's standing out the most. It doesn't compare to the fake blood or the, the real blood at all. So just let's quickly scan over it, what it looks like. So yeah, here, if it's evenly distributed, you can see all the little particles or the ingredients, let's say, that are in the ketchup. Can we zoom in here a bit more? So let's check the ingredients. There's uh, tomatoes, sugar, uh, vinegar, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, everything biological, some salt, some peppers. Yeah, so just uh, some normal food ingredients. Under the microscope, it doesn't look so impressive. Let's take on the fake blood here for a second. So what I like here on the fake blood, it looks super exaggerated, like really bright red color. And also these bubbles are super cool. It's a mixture between your saliva and the baking soda because baking soda creates bubbles and increases in volume. So this is the result of it. So let's zoom in here a bit. And you can see the bubbles much more clearly then. Yeah, they f they're forming in the liquid here, in the saliva. It looks like small, small blood cells, actually. This is quite interesting. Let's, let's compare it now to the real blood. Here we got a small, <laughs> tiny blood sample. Yeah, now, after a few minutes, it already dried up and uh, it's crusty now. You can see how it looks crusty. There's a, few, there's a few layers of blood on top of each other because when I press it on the slide, it's not just one layer of blood, they're like sitting on top of each other. It's not like a classical blood image where you see cell by cell by cell. Let me zoom in a bit more here to the maximum. 220 magnification. A blood cell is 0.008 millimeters, so eight micron roughly. So these are super small. So you can see here, like these, this is just the tip of my mouse cursor. That's, that's a blood, blood cell. Or if you go, this is a clump already, this dark shadow here. It's like the, like the ketchup. When we, when we spread it out here, it doesn't look like red at all. But actually, if it's in a clump, it's, it's red. Okay, yeah, now to compare with the fake blood, you can see here on the top, it's not so dense. So it's also a bit uh, less red, but it's, it's super bright. And you can see the color is uh, really different if you compare now this one to the dried blood. Totally different color. Because I imagine when you walk around at Halloween, when you broke one of these pills and you let it flow out your face, it will dry up and just stick here. So the effect for Halloween will be much greater if you use the fake blood. 
because the real blood will fade away in color and the effect will not be so great. And another argument why fake blood looks more realistic, let's say, or in our imagination more realistic is because of these bubbles. Because the baking soda bubbles up in your mouth and creates these uh, air bubbles. Let me try to, to pop them here. See, see how it looks like. Oh, it's a bit gooey. So in conclusion, if you really want to go to Halloween, I would not recommend using real blood. We don't want that. Anyone to get injured. So overall, the fake blood is a pretty good choice if you want to go to Halloween. I think it uh, looks quite crazy. Very similar to horror movies also. And if you go trick or treating, do some research on the origins of Halloween. And let me know down in the comments below what you found out. Hope you have a good day. Subscribe and like the video and I'll see you in the next one.